Hello students, today we'll discuss about transcription in prokaryotes. In introduction, transcription is the process of synthesis of RNA from a DNA template. As in most of the cases in molecular biology, studies in E. coli have provided insight into subsequent investigations of molecular processes in prokaryotes. The process of transcription was first studied in prokaryotes after the discovery of mRNA and RNA polymerase. In prokaryotes, transcription is regulated in response to environmental conditions such as the availability of nutrients. The experiments on prokaryotic transcription also provided the framework for understanding the process in eukaryotes. In order to understand transcription, let us first look into the RNA polymerase. RNA polymerase is the principal enzyme that is responsible for transcription or the formation of RNA from a DNA template. The enzyme catalyzes the polymerization of ribonucleoside 5 triphosphates with reference to a DNA template. The polymerization of RNA is in similar fashion as seen in DNA replication in that the formation of RNA strand always takes place in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. However, the RNA polymerases does not require a primer to start its synthesis as was the case in DNA. Instead, the process of transcription initiates at a specific site located at the beginning of a gene. The initiation of transcription is the stage at which gene expression is regulated in prokaryotes. The RNA polymerase is a multi-enzyme unit that is composed of four types of subunits, the alpha, beta, beta prime, and the sigma. The sigma subunit is loosely bound to the other subunits and can be dissociated, yielding a core enzyme that constitutes two alpha, one beta, and one beta prime subunits. The core polymerase has the capacity of catalyzing the polymerization of RNA, which indicates that the sigma subunit is not important in the basic catalytic activity of the enzyme. However, the core polymerase itself cannot start transcription without the help of the sigma subunit. Since transcription should inadvertently start at the beginning of a gene, the selection of the initiation site is crucial. Now let us try to understand what is the initiation site by understanding the transcription start site. The point at which RNA polymerase binds to initiate transcription is called the promoter. The DNA sequence that is involved in the function of a promoter is identified by comparing a set of gene sequences isolated from E. coli. The comparison reveals set of two sequences that are conserved and present upstream to the transcription initiation site. The conserved sequence consists of a six nucleotide and are present at minus 10 and minus 35 region upstream to the site of initiation. The sequence at minus 10 region is also known as the primno box. Although the sequence at the minus 35 and minus 10 region is different in different organisms, they are similar enough to call it a consensus sequence, which refers to bases that are most frequently found at a particular region on the DNA. The minus 10 and minus 35 region plays an important role in transcription. It is observed that promoters that differ from the consensus sequence are usually transcribed less efficiently compared to promoters with the consensus sequence. It was also observed that mutation at the minus 35 and minus 10 region has a profound effect on the promoter function of the sequence. The binding site of RNA polymerase was analyzed by using the DNA footprinting technique in which radiolabeled DNA is incubated with protein of interest and then subsequently digested by DNA's enzymes. The region which is resistant to DNA's digestion is due to the presence of bound proteins that interact with the region in the DNA sequence. Using the technique, it was found that sigma factor binds at minus 35 and minus 10 regions 
which specifically suggests the importance of the consensus sequence in transcription. In the absence of sigma factor, RNA polymerase binds non-specifically to DNA with low affinity. The role of sigma factor is to direct the polymerase to the promoters by binding specifically to both the minus 35 as well as the minus 10 sequence leading to the initiation of transcription at the beginning of a gene. Now let us try to understand the actual process of transcription. The process of transcription can be divided into three overlapping stages called initiation, elongation and termination. In initiation, RNA polymerase uses only one strand of the DNA as template to synthesize a complementary strand. In order to access the template strand, there is a need to unwind the DNA double helix. This is accomplished by recognition of the promoter by RNA polymerase and subsequent conformational change in the DNA structure to form an open complex by unwinding the bases paired at minus 10 region. After unwinding of the DNA duplex for about 15 bases at the initiation site to form an open complex, the polymerase starts synthesis of RNA molecule complementary to the DNA template. With the polymerization of around 10 nucleotides, sigma factor is released from the holoenzyme complex. In the elongation phase, the remaining core enzyme is responsible for synthesis of the rest of the RNA strand. As it proceeds through the synthesis of RNA molecule, the polymerase unwinds DNA ahead of it and rewinds the template DNA that is behind the transcription bubble, maintaining an unwound region of approximately 17 base pairs. Ribonucleotides are added one after another to the growing 3' prime end of the RNA transcript. The identity of each nucleotide specified by the base pairing rule, which adenine base pairs with thymine or uracil, guanine base pairs with cytosine. In the termination phase of transcription, the process of termination of transcription in prokaryotes can be either rho-dependent or rho-independent. In the rho-independent termination, RNA synthesis continues until the polymerase encounters a termination signal at which point transcription stops. The RNA is released from the polymerase and the enzyme dissociates from its DNA template. The simplest and the most common type of termination signal in E. coli consists of a symmetrical inverted repeats of GC rich sequence followed by four or more adenine residues. Transcription of the GC rich inverted repeats results in the formation of a segment of RNA that can form a stable stem loop structure by complementary base pairing. The formation of such a self-complementary structure in the RNA disrupts its association with the DNA template and terminates transcription because hydrogen bonding between adenine and uracil is weaker than that between guanine and cytosine the presence of adenine residues downstream to the inverted repeat sequences is thought to facilitate the dissociation of the RNA from its template. In the rho-dependent termination, a special hexameric protein called the rho protein is required to destabilize the RNA and the DNA duplex. In prokaryotes, rho proteins are required for termination of mRNA transcription in a number of operons. The protein is a DNA-RNA helicase that helps release RNA from the DNA template by hydrolysis of ATP and brings about termination. The raw protein recognizes specific DNA signals that are transcribed into the RNA called the raw-dependent terminators. The raw-dependent terminators have a raw binding site called the RUT site also called the row utilization and a distal sequence which consists of the terminator zone. The row binding site is rich in cytosine and does not have any secondary structures. The terminator site is present around 60 to 90 bases down the RUT site within which termination can occur.
when RNA polymerase scans this sequence, it pauses its process of transcription. Subsequently, the RNA-bound secondary sites activates the rho protein to hydrolyze an ATP molecule, which provides the energy for the helicase activity of rho protein, thereby unwinding the RNA-DNA duplex. In the next process, we'll look into how RNA is being processed to make it a functional molecule. In RNA processing, the primary transcript of mRNA in prokaryotes are not processed as much and are directly used in translation. Transcription and translation is a simultaneous process in prokaryotes as both the event takes place in the cytoplasm. However, the mRNA needs to be protected from damage by formation of stem loop structures at the 5' prime and 3' prime region. RNA processing is necessary for rRNA and tRNA to render its functionality. Let us look into processing of rRNA. Most of the RNAs transcribed are precursors RNA, and they have to be processed to their functional state. Ribosomal RNAs are synthesized as a large precursor, and as they are synthesized, they are subjected to processing which involves methylation and pseudouridylation of bases at specific sites by using secondary structural conformations. Then, cleaving the precursor transcript at specific positions, methylases, methylate 4 or guanine bases, GC pairs, and 2 or groups of ribose sugar. Methylation is very important in the binding of riboproteins to ribosomal RNA and also for the folding of ribosomal RNA as and when proteins bind to form a ribosomal structure. In the processing of tRNA, the precursor tRNA, as they are synthesized, they fold into secondary structures and assume a three-dimensional form. RNSP recognizes the secondary structure, binds to it, and cleaves exactly at the 5' prime end of the tRNA. At the other end, RNAs D, an endonuclease, recognizes the 3' prime region and cuts. Then, RNAs D chops off nucleotides by nucleotide from 3' prime end till it reaches a secondary structure with a CCA at its 3' prime sequence and stops. Thus, processed tRNAs are released. The bases of tRNAs are then modified by a variety of enzymes. Modification of bases by specific enzymes at specific sites is performed. The modifications are methylation, hydroxylation, thiolation, amination, deamination, and few others. In sum, the tRNA liberated lacks the CCA sequence at the 3' prime end. In such cases, these nucleotides are added in sequence by tRNA terminal transferase. In conclusion, transcription is a process of molecular dogma and is a fundamental process towards the phenotypic expression of stored information in the DNA. Prokaryotic transcription is carried out by single type of RNA polymerase that forms precursor RNA, which is modified to give rise to a functional RNA molecule. The process of transcription is regulated in prokaryotes in the form of operons so as to enable efficient utilization of the resource.